Hey everyone, I got requested to do a tutorial on the Hellfire shirt for screen printing, so here it goes. Uh, I'm a graphic designer, so I made the image myself, but you can buy them easily on Etsy. Uh, I have a Cricut machine, but I also work at a sign shop, so I have access to all kinds of printers and plotters. But if you have a family member that has a Cricut, or a friend that has a Cricut, ask them to do it. Otherwise, you can easily go into your local sign shop and ask them to cut your image. Just make sure to cut it in mirrored or reversed slash backwards fashion because it's important we're going to be putting it on the back of the screen and you're gonna see that later here I'm just weeding out the image that just means I'm just taking out the bits of the vinyl that I need to I'm just taking out the actual parts of the image not the solid background color because the bits of the image are what we're going to want the ink to go through onto the shirt and see that's what it looks like the squares on the sides are just crop marks that I added in the first time that I did this project but I don't really use them so now I'm just showing you that I have tape mask masking tape whatever you want to call it to transfer it onto our screen the back of the screen this is why it's important that you cut your image in reverse Ta-da! there it is and that's why it's important because you're going to be screen printing on the part that is indented now I'm putting cardboard in between the layers of the shirt so that ink doesn't go through on the back of your shirt because that will ruin your shirt. Same as taping the edges and parts of your image that you don't want ink to go through, that will also ruin your shirt if you don't do that. Next, I'm going to be showing you the Speedball screen printing ink. You can get this at your craft store like Michael's, etc. You're going to want to put globs of this on. Not too much, not too little. But, you know, a lot. And you're only going to want to squeegee downwards. Never go up and down. It just creates more of a consistent pressure and ink flow onto your shirt. It's really messy too, so make sure that you wear clothes that you don't care about getting ink on. In the next clip that I show you, I'm going to be hair drying. Because it's just faster when I'm doing multiple colors to just hair dry in between. But you're going to want to let the shirt, after you're done all your layers of color, sit for two to three days before you heat set it at 320 degrees for 40 seconds. And then you can wash it and it's ready to wear.